In growing national debate over the Confederate battle flag, a local movement is underway to take down Confederate landmarks in Maryland. Now City Council takes the first steps to rename a controversial park. WJZ and Alex Dimitrik are live at City Hall. Good morning, Alex. Well, good morning, Lynn. It's a plan sparking controversy. Some say Robert E. Lee Park's name is a symbol of racial division. Others argue it's part of the history. A tranquil spot for boaters, dog walkers, and fishermen alike. 450 acres of city land just over the Baltimore County line. But this park is now the source of controversy because of its name, Robert E. Lee Park. That name needs to come down and a more appropriate name placed on it. The city council introduced a bill Monday to remove the Confederate general's name and rename the site Lake Roland Park. Community activist Doc Cheatham says it's about time. It is clear when you look at the history of the Confederacy, what it stood for, that they were supportive of slavery. Still, some say the name is historically significant. We would truly caution against uh, any kind of erasure of our history, and that's, that's the history of the state and the history of the city. The bill comes as the state tries to recall Confederate license plates and protesters push for the removal of Confederate statues. The mayor has now formed a commission to look at what to do with Confederate-era landmarks and memorials across the city. Back at Robert E. Lee Park, plans to change the name are drawing mixed reactions. If it offends somebody, then we should change the name. I think there's a lot of tradition to this park, and I think Robert E. Lee has a different meaning from a lot of Civil War generals, so I think it should be put in context. Well, the Baltimore City Council does plan to hold public hearings on the proposed name change. Lynn, back to you. Alex, thank you. And last night, the City Council also approved a resolution commending South Carolina's decision to remove the Confederate battle flag from its Capitol grounds.